In this video we're going to show you how to remove the rear seat belts from an Audi A3 8P to years 2004 to 2012. The tools you'll need for the job, a ratchet with a 17mm socket, a T30 and a T25 Torx bit, a flat screwdriver and a 17mm spanner or ratchet spanner. Firstly remove the things from the boot area, so the parcel shelf that needs to come out. Fold both seats down. Remove the boot carpet. And then you need to remove the things around the spare wheel. Now remove the toolkit. This is the Quattro model, so this has got the full foam toolkit around the edge of the spare wheel. That needs to come out. To remove the rear bench, first remove the four Isofix covers, if you've got Isofix. Uh, they just push down and pull towards you. You can see there the profile, that's where the bar sits. So just push them down and pull towards you. Do that for all four. Now the front of the seat and the rear is clipped into place. Remove the front first. There's a mounting point here in the middle of each side seat. You just need to get your hands there and give it a good pull. Do both sides. And the rear of the bench just hooked in underneath what you need to do while keeping the front edge supported push back and pull up and you can remove the bench from the vehicle you can see the points on the back there that there is just hooked in on the side there quite hard to see You'll need to remove the bolt that's in the anchor point for the centre seat belt. That's there, that's a 17mm. Just undo that. Now remove this cover that's covering the bolt where the hinge is using a flat screwdriver to get it in and just get up the side and just pry it away there's two little clips that are just uh, sat into a groove on the hinge just pry that up that'll come away and there you can see the clip on the inside there that's what you've just got to pry away this bolt here needs to come out that's a t30 Once that's out, you need to remove this little clamp that just swings over. You might need to fold the seats up, or just one of them, just to get it out. That's it. And now that's out. To get the seats out, lift up in the middle, and then that will just pull out. They're just on pegs at the side. You can see there's a peg. The seats are just slotted onto those on the outside. Once they're out, you can remove both seats the same way. That's the seats removed from the vehicle. First thing you have to remove this panel, no tools required, it is just clipped into place. It pulls upwards, start at one end, there's four clips. And that pulls out, there are the four points on the back where it's mounted in. There's a T25 Torx located here at the back, just in a little gap in that trim, undo that. Now starting at the back, pull this panel towards you, there's a clip located 
but about here just behind that you can either pull it from the front or get your hand behind the back and pull it out and it'll swing up just loop it over the hook in the back and the one in the back and you've got access to the back You need to pull this trim backwards. First though, you need to undo the anchor point for the bottom of the belt. That's a 17 mil bolt uh, at the bottom. And then pull the trim back. To do that, there's a bolt hidden behind this little cover here. Using a flat screwdriver, just pop that cover off. That's a T30 Torx. When that's out, this trim here is clipped in at the back. You just need to pull, you don't need to pull it all the way out, just the back edge. If you just get hold of it, you can get a wiggle, and just create a gap about that big, just so you can feed the belt through. The last bolt holding the reel in place is just there, it's a 17mm bolt. Best thing to use to get in there because it's quite tight is a, like a ratchet spanner. bolts removed there's some pegs on the underside there it's slotted into a hole that's just stopping it coming out you need to line that up lift it up that'll pull towards you and just get past the roof lining And you'll need to feed the rest of the belt through that hole. And that's the belt removed.